talented, fearless, courageous, and inspiring. These are words that have never been used to describe our riding, especially when we are warming up on some log bombs. One of these days, we will probably wake up to ourselves. We have tried everything to improve our shitty riding skills. Billet alloy fuel caps, traction e-rag stickers, fishnet stockings, even astrology. The alignment of the planets, the sun and the stars have a real effect on dirt, you know, especially hill climbs. Keep that in mind. Ben has also been getting some tips from an enduro neurologist. Hey, cross-training enduro skills. You have two parts of brain, left and right. In the left side, there's nothing right. In the right side, there's nothing left. I still get a lot of questions about which tyres I would recommend. And as usual, I refuse to make any recommendations because I know bugger all about tyres and will probably give you shitty advice. However, Andrew has no problems with giving shitty advice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get on with it. Uh, yeah, I got this GT369KX to try out and uh, it's very, very soft. You can see here just, just how gummy it is. It's actually frighteningly gummy and a really wide spacing between these huge knobs. It's unbelievably good in dry, hard pack or on rock. It just grips like nothing else. The first time I used this tyre, I couldn't believe the grip I got. But when you get into that moist or slippery type, um, mossy rocks and things like that, it's really not good. Uh, it really struggles because it gets, it's just so soft, it just slips like crazy. So it's not the tyre you want in your wet conditions. So at the same time I picked up a GT216 Fatty which everyone's been telling me are fantastic and I've never had one and I put it on and really there is no doubt it really does stabilise the bike. I've found myself cornering a lot better with this and you know, I'm a pretty awful rider but I can tell that yeah, I'm a lot smoother in those twisty single track corners. Uh -huh. 